Yoga Yoga Channel. Um, we are going to do today a mama baby yoga session. Uh, in this class we will move the whole body and we are also going to do some fun exercises with the baby. You can do this uh, yoga class after six weeks if you had a vaginal birth and eight weeks if not otherwise advised to you after a c-section. Obviously your baby can be also from two months uh, up to till he can crawl or she can crawl. Uh, my little yoga partner Alex is uh, five months and uh, yeah always consult your doctor if you are doing any exercise after giving birth and these exercises are going to be safe if you have the assistive recti so opened belly muscles. Uh, if you have a serious condition on that, I would advise you to do um, a therapy focused yoga classes rather. So we are going to start um, in a seated position. Um, when you are doing exercises together with your baby, it's important that you uh, if the baby is sleeping, that's perfect. You can just place the baby next to you. If your baby is awake, um, I would suggest to have some toys that he or she can grab. And uh, it's also good if you are breastfeeding to breastfeed before classes. And the baby is normally happier if they are well rested. So don't do this class before their sleeping time because they can get really fuzzy. Uh, you can also place the baby on the tummy so they can also have some exercise with you together. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so let's start. Uh, you can turn to your baby. Uh, I'm going to turn towards the camera now and uh, we are going to start with some breath exercises. So first of all, you would want to crawl shoulders, bring the shoulders forward up to your ears and as you exhale, bring them back and down. One more time, inhale, lift the shoulders up. Exhale, bring them back and down one last time. And exhale, wonderful. So we're gonna open the arms, lift your arms up above the head, let your shoulders sink down. Inhale, engage your belly muscles, lengthen your spine, gaze up on the ceiling. And then as you exhale, we're gonna turn, bend towards the right side, straighten the left arm over the left ear, take a big inhalation through your nose. Exhale, switch to side. One more time, inhale to the right. Exhale, come on the other side. Okay. Wonderful. So if you haven't been turning to your baby, please turn to your baby now and bring your feet together in butterfly position. Pull the heels a little bit towards yourself. And then as you exhale, you can fold a little bit forward, turn to your baby. Down. We are going to stay here for a little while now, five deep breaths. And you can also grab here the legs of the baby and you can do gentle bicycle exercises. This is really good for the digestion, also for the hips. Do it very gently. And then slowly release, inhale, you're going to bring your fingertips behind you, press your fingertips, lift your chest up, press your feet together, pull the shoulder blades together, shoulders back from your ears. Exhale, release, wonderful. Now we're going to come forward over the legs. And then here, Place your hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips, feet on the mat, step your toes, and then as you inhale, pull the shoulders back from your ears, arch your back in cow position, tip your pelvis back and 
up. And then as you exhale, you're going to bring your weight over the heels and come into cat position. So you're coming forward again, shoulders over the wrists, lift your shoulder blades up. Inhale, bring your weight back. Exhale, come forward. Inhale, back. Slowly come back into tabletop position. Bring the back of your feet on the mat, open your knees a little bit and sit back on child's pose. You can let your forehead rest on the floor. And we're just gonna stay here for five deep breaths. Nice. Slowly we are coming back up. Duck your toes, lift the knees up, and come into downward facing dog. You can bend up here a little bit, bend and straighten the legs. And then slowly as you inhale, lift your heels up. Exhale, bring the heels down. Pull the shoulders back from your ears. Inhale, lift the heels up, bring your weight on the hands. Exhale, heels down. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Suck in your belly button here, slowly come forward into plank. If you have resistance directing, so gen um, slightly open belly muscles, then please put the knees down. Otherwise, you can stay here up for a moment. Take a big inhalation here. And then as you exhale, bring the knees down. Bend your elbows and just slowly come down on your belly. Hi there. So you're here, you're gonna place your hands on the floor into cup hand. And then slowly pull the shoulder blades together, lift your elbows up. Inhale, lift up. Press your pelvis into your mat. Point your toes towards the wall behind you. Pull your buttocks together. Press your thighs into the mat. And then as you exhale, slowly release down. Inhale, come up. Exhale, release down. One more time, inhale. Exhale, release. Really nice. Now you're gonna place your elbows under your shoulders into Sphinx pose. Here, make sure that the middle fingers are pointing forward and you can pull your mat a little bit towards your staff. So you're moving the shoulder tips towards the back. <laughs> Laying on the belly is really good after giving birth. You can do that every day, laying flat on your belly. You can even place a pillow under your belly and this is going to help tilting the pelvis, um, sorry, the uterus back into its original place. It's like a really therapeutic position after giving birth. Wonderful. So slowly here, you're going to move your shoulders back. <laughs> And we are coming back up into table pose, tabletop. I'm gonna help Alex turn back on his back if he wants to. And then here slowly you start to straighten the left leg to the back right arm forward, you're gonna do bird dog. So you keep the arm straight. You can also you know, like play with the baby here. And then as you exhale, you're gonna pull the knee and the elbow together. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, elbow, knee together. 
Inhale, straighten. Exhale, lift your shoulder blades up. Inhale. Last one, slowly exhale, straighten. And release. We switch. Right leg goes to the back, left arm forward, big inhale. Exhale, elbow knee together. Inhale, straighten. Exhale. And inhale. Keep your belly engaged. Inhale. Exhale. Last two coming. And the last one. Inhale, straighten, and then slowly release. Wonderful. So make sure that you do not have any uncomfortable feeling in your belly. If you have a serious condition of this, it's distracted, it's not advised, you know, to, play, to be in plank and downward facing dog. So that's why then do therapy sessions if you have a more serious condition than this. Wonderful. So here we're going to bring the knees a little bit to the back and bring the hips forward. Yeah? Slowly, you can walk your hand on the edge of the mat or a little bit um, so the middle fingers are aligned with your shoulders. And we are going to do a couple of push-ups. Yeah? Slowly, as we exhale, release down. You can give a kiss to the baby and up. Three. Four, five, six, seven. Do it rather slow, slowly down, slowly up. Nine and ten. Really nice. Now you can sit on the heels. And we're gonna do some shoulder circles. Inhale, bring the shoulders forward. Exhale, bring them back and down. Really nice. We're gonna move the arms with the movement. So inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, bring them back and down. Wonderful. So now you're going to walk your hands again and find a way back into tabletop position. You can always encourage the little ones to turn over to placing a toy over the shoulders. If you try to help them, grab the leg and pull the leg a little bit towards the back. That's going to help them to turn over. So from here, slowly going to lift the left foot up, place it a little bit to the left, and we're going to come into side plank. So you're going to straighten the right leg, align with the left knee, and lift the right arm up. Wonderful. So here, slowly, you're going to bring the right arm forward over the right ear, and lift the right leg up. More or less aligned with your hip, it can be a little lower, that's perfectly fine. As you exhale, you can pull the elbow knee together. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, elbow knee together. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, together. And last two. Wonderful. Now here, we're going to stay for a moment, lift the leg up, straighten the right arm, and we are just holding the position for five, four, three, two, and one. Really nice. Now you're going to place your elbows down, palms facing down, elbows are under the shoulder. Tuck your toes and we're going to come up into dolphin position. You can walk your feet a little bit forward, press your elbows, engage the shoulder muscles, tuck in your belly button here. Wonderful. 
Knee holds for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Slowly release down. Sit back on your heels. We're going to have here three arm circles again. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bring them back around. Mm. Wonderful. So we're going to switch sides here. Place the right hand under your right shoulder, turning the right foot towards the back. Straighten the left leg here, align with your left hip, inhale, arms go up. And then slowly you're going to bring your left arm over the left ear, lifting the left leg up. Wonderful. Find a stable position here, exhale, elbow knee together. Inhale, straighten. Exhale. Inhale, straighten. Last two. Inhale and exhale. And we're just going to hold the position again. For five, four, three, two, and one. Wonderful. Find your way back into dolphin. So place the elbows down, tuck your toes, lift the knees up, walk a little forward, the toes here. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Slowly release down. Sit on your heels. Three arm circles. Inhale, open up. Exhale, bring them back and down. Wonderful. So now we're going to come up into downward facing dog again. with the heels as deep as you can. You can bend the legs. And then here slowly, you start to raise the right leg up. Exhale, you're gonna pull the right knee to the left elbow while you are bringing your shoulders over the wrists. Inhale, back up. Exhale, cross the leg under your torso. Inhale, back up. Exhale. And last two. Wonderful. Slowly now place the foot in between your hands. Left knee goes down. Come up into the lunge. Let me just stay here for a moment. Let your hips sink a little bit towards your front heel. Slowly release back down, place your hands under your shoulders, we're coming back into downward facing dog. Left leg goes up, exhale, pull the knee to the right elbow, shoulders over your hands. Inhale, back up, exhale, forward, inhale, back up, exhale, forward. And last two, inhale, and exhale, inhale, back up, exhale, take a big step forward, in between your hands, the right knee goes down, come up again, place your hands on the thighs, and then slowly 
Let your hips sink forward. Wonderful, slow here. Come back, place the hands down under your shoulders and we are coming back into child's pose. So for cool down, we're gonna do some exercises with the baby. You can open your legs here, slide to your baby here, and you can come into a gentle forward fold. If this doesn't really work, you can always bend the legs. And now our focus will go on the little ones. So when you are doing any massage or any exercise with your baby, always make sure that the head is facing towards you so they have your, their neck long and straight. So we're gonna start with some bicycle movements. You can grab your feet, just do some gentle bicycle exercises. I'm gonna bend my leg here so you can see what I'm doing. Yeah. Just gently, do not have to pressure here anything. Wonderful. And then slowly release the feet down. Make sure that the feet are hip width apart. And you can place her now on their little feet your leg. So it's weighted down. And then here, Alex, is way too fascinated in the camera. Okay. And you can here slowly lift the hips up just one centimeter and then release them down. Lift up and down, lift up and down. Lifting and back. One more time. And back. Down. Wonderful. You do not have to do a lot of exercises, just a little movement is already good for their joints. So your baby might want to grab their feet already and you can help them. Uh, you can grab any kind of toy, which is a little longer, place the toy on their foot. So it's like lengthened a little bit and then help them to grab it. And as they pull it towards themselves, you can help them. Too many toys. Wonderful. And then change. You can place now the toy on the other foot. Alex. And then help them grab them. Grab it. Eventually they will be able to grab their own food. Wonderful. Last exercise is coming for the little arms. So you can hold your hands here. You're gonna open their arms and then close. Open, close, and close, and close. And for one last time, bring the arms to the ears and down to the hips, up to their ears, Alex is bending his elbows, that's okay, then just keep the elbows bent, do not ever push the baby hard, just very gently. Last one, and release. So thank you for joining us today, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video, bye!